guys. Hi. We want to bring you holiday looks. Yeah. I want to do Mardi Gras makeup. Yep. I'm going to do Valentine's Day makeup to inspire you guys for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this She Glam palette is going to come in handy because it has green, purple, and gold. Um, this Beauty Crop has a real nice gold. I think this is really the gold that I want to use. This Tokyo palette, once again, is going to be coming in handy. I don't think I don't I'm think. using... I like... This one has, like, good reds and pinks that I like. Um, this Sweet Tooth also has some cute pinks. And then um, I wanted to do, like, a shimmer light pink type situation um so i got this i know i want to do gold in the center and then go out into either purple or green and then do underneath with the other color mm -hmm. i just hadn't quite decided if i wanted purple on my edge yet or green on my edge because both ways sound kind of pretty I, i'm starting with my eyebrows i feel like i don't know i feel like my eyebrows really make everything and then um if i don't have eyebrows then i will hate how everything looks all right, I do like that gold um, from the Beauty Crop Stargazing palette. I think it's lovely and perfection for a Mardi Gras look. Very yellow gold. See, I'm trying to put it here in the middle and go out. This green that I put on there is the, um, from the She Glam. And now I'm going to go into the Storybook Fairy Tales. Guys, I'm using Shinto Shrine. I am going to go in with a wet brush into the She Glam. So I wanted to do like a pink lid and then like a red like halo type feel like around it. Um, but I went too hard with the red. I just didn't, I thought that I'd, I don't know. I didn't think that I could do the red initially as like thin as I wanted to, so I thought that I should like cover it up instead of cover up the pink. You know? And then it's just really, really red. How's it going? I feel like it's kind of not purpley enough. I might have to do purple on like the top line too. Like a, mm -hmm. a sweeping motion of for the underneath liner. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know this Tokyo palette has such good pigment. Maybe I should do it with it. Progress. <laughs> mm, I see. I feel like I want my red packed in Titan Heart. I feel like I want some glitter in my black eyeliner. I'm going to use this by me X by my beauty brand that came in the allure and I have used this at least two other times and I have enjoyed this. What they said about it being like a really good like felt tip marker type liner, they were correct. I'm going to start doing the rest of my face because all I want to do to my eyes now is the like under or like hair area um but I don't want to do that and then put foundation on top of it but I put some sparkles oh, I feel like this light's really bright kind of feel like my black liner covered up almost all of my purple though it didn't <laughs> is that how you do your foundation I just drip it a little bit well, because I use my hands, I probably would have, you know, droppered it onto my thing, my palm, and then done this, and then done this. This Maybelline Fit Me that I got at the Dollar General on sale one time. I'm I'm using this Tarte Sea Water Foundation um, that I got on sale one time. <laughs> anyway, I I like this foundation. <laughs> I also got um, like a brow pencil or something. It ran out really quick, but I liked it while I had it. Oh, I got this setting spray. And I think that setting spray... And I got this primer that I used. ...is in the Boxy Charm maybe this month. And if it's not the Stay Spray by Tarte, I think it's a different setting spray that's like an aerosol from Tarte. And I think it's in the add-ons, too, for maybe like $9, because it was one of the things I was... <laughs> so, um, this is the um contour powder, whatever, bronzer, bronzer that I've been using. I don't even know. It's Jane Iredale. It's a good brand. What's Jane Iredale? <laughs> it's a good brand of makeup. Um, But it's not like a bronzer, is it? I think it's like a... I think it was like Gabrielle's Powder Foundation. It was, yeah, probably Powder Foundation. But it works for bronzer. 
or maybe it's probably like a setting setting powder in a color that's too dark for you to use I'll just as a setting powder. I think I look younger without makeup. Look how makeup just makes me look old. I look like an old lady now. All of a sudden, like, this bag underneath my eye looks worse. You just have, like, you, I don't want to dare. You just have good skin. Like, seriously, you're, I've got a black eye looking baggy Your thing. bags, do, cover them up. I didn't even have them before I put on It's probably, makeup. well, if you want to put purple eyeshadow on your under eye, it's probably going to bring out the bags. Do you need, um, concealer? Yeah, I didn't bring it. Did it work in for me? They're, do, do I look younger now? You really do. Wow. I think that this time we should remember to take pictures, like actual pictures of our makeup and then insert them so they can get, get better. Because I don't think you can see at all what my, my makeup looks like. I think this eye look should have this. 317. I guess the makeup. Where did I get this? From you? Um, did somebody send it? I think, so CC sent one and then I ended up winning one in another giveaway and i can't remember which one was which um thanks cc <laughs> we're gonna pretend it's cc for now also thanks amber for my valentine's day present that was so sweet and um she didn't cry though like i did <laughs> i cried when i watched your video that said that you did maybe that's just because you were emotional but um did you tear up yeah because you were talking about how how we don't have any friends <laughs> And it really is, like, sad because we did used to have friends and, like, now we're just here all alone and it's nice to know that people still, like, care about us because it doesn't really feel that way when it's just me and you and the cats all day. <laughs> Those cats really like us, though, that we might be starting a hoarder situation. Um, They're better. I think I want sure. your dark bronzer a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to use the pink color that I use on my lid on underneath. Because I don't think it came through as much as I would. I hope you guys think we're looking good, because I feel like we're almost done. So, <laughs> this might be as good as it's going to get. Although, I am going to put on lipstick today, too, for them. Ooh. For my Mardi Gras look. Should I put on lipstick? I feel like that was going to ruin it. Oh, no. I think I brought this one in, actually, for you to try. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that. Lois just sent me From this li one. Life of Lois? Mm -hmm. Just sent me this one. Do you think it would look nice? Wait, let me see. Yeah. It's kind of metallic-y. So would I'm, that be good or bad with my... um? I, don't, I feel like look? if you're going to do lipstick, it should be metallic-y. Because Mardi Gras, like, if we're talking about the rules of makeup, yeah. Probably would like to tone it down with lip. But it's holiday-inspired. And Mardi Gras looks crazy and sparkly. You know? That's true. I think I need to highlight. I'm just gonna highlight. It definitely makes me look old. <laughs> Bringing out those crinkles. I meant to do that while I did my under brow. Something I did didn't make my nose look any smaller. <laughs> Thanks again, CC. <laughs> oh wait, how you where do you put blush? Um, you could put yours down more onto your cute little apples. Um, as you get older, it needs to go higher and higher, or it sags our face down. No, that's too down. Bring it. Your br brush it up. Brush it up. I can't even see the side of your face. You just want me to be ugly. Never. That's cute. Um, this lipstick is not on my teeth yet. <laughs> Do I look pretty? Do we look festive and holiday-ish? I um put little hearts in my ears. And the lipstick, it was not super pigmented. And I like my metallic lipstick. I do kind of feel like for my Mardi Gras look, I used to have a purple. It's probably in a storage unit. Um, lipstick? Mm -hmm. I I might try out something else. Purpley. <laughs> Can you tell we're feeling cute? I think... We did our hair. Yeah, the hair. Um, I put on golden green. I put on... I know I already had on red, but I put on red. That doesn't look like... So, um, you want to see us in natural lighting? You want to see baby sugar? <laughs> She's humongous. <laughs> Oh, close, open, side. <laughs> Tell us we look pretty. Oh, and we're going to insert pictures. Because sometimes, you know, the video doesn't show it off. Mm -hmm. I think yours looks real cute. I do too. I think yours looks really cute. 
I like. I think um, more purple would have been nice to have maybe figured out a way to have inserted it, it since you know Mardi Gras and all. I think we the lipstick would have done it though. I hope you guys are super inspired to celebrate the holidays with your face. <laughs> we would love to see your looks. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye. I thought I needed to add purple lipstick. What do you think? We are adding pictures to the end of the video, so stay and watch those. And also, this video was like an hour long, and I cut it down to 11 minutes, so I thought more people would watch it. But I am going to do a more blooper video out of this. So if you want to watch it, it's going to be the same makeup looks. It's just going to be a lot more of Nadia and I hanging out, chatting. So watch it if you want to hang out with us. Thanks. Bye.